Greetings! In this video, I will demonstrate my Simulink Student Challenge 2016 project, which is called Compact Real-Time Cloud Dotter Simulator with Autonomous Flight Switch. Now, let's start with the input block. The input block switches the inputs coming from the pilot and the inputs coming from the navigation system. The switching can be controlled by the Flight Instruments panel. This is the plant block which runs both linear and nonlinear equations of motion. Inside the quadrotor airframe, there is an embedded MATLAB function which integrates over the nonlinear and linear equations of motion. The stability argumentation is maintained by the LQG controller. In LQG controller, it is assumed that the Kalman filter estimates the position and attitude while the translational and rotational velocities are directly measured by the sensors. The simulation interface block connects simulink outputs to an open source flight simulation which is called flight gear. Also, there's flight instruments panel where the pilot can have a realistic flight experience. In flight instruments panel, there's a heating indicator, the altimeter, the autopilot engagement switch, artificial horizon, and the RPM gauges of the four motors. Now let's see how it actually works. This is the flight gear simulation interface. But before starting the simulation, we have to define our waypoints with the routine which is called waymapper. Now I, I will enter two waypoints onto it. Now I'm choosing my waypoints. And starting the simulation while the autopilot is not engaged. Now the simulation has been started and I'm engaging the autopilot. It immediately starts to search the first waypoint. And now, it found the first waypoint and it tries to land it down. Landing to the first waypoint, it's successful. And now, it settles down. And after a small settling period, it will immediately start to search the second waypoint. And it started to search second waypoint. Now it found the second waypoint and tries to land it down. And again, after a successful landing and disengaging the autopilot. Now the simulation is completed successfully and I'm stopping the simulation. And let's see the trajectory we have. This is the trajectory followed by the autopilot. And it's pretty similar to the trajectory that we have chosen 
at the scaled map. Thanks for watching.